Here we are, day 48. <laughs> <laughs> it exceeded all expectations in terms of what was required physically, what was required mentally. Um, it was just, it was so, so tough. It's probably the, one of the hardest things I've ever done. And the reason it's been one of the hardest things is because, yes, you have a lack of sleep. Um, you're reading at different times and you normally would back home. And you're getting up at six o'clock every morning to, to get tracking and get going. Um, but we've been able to do it with a great bunch of people. And that's what this trip, I think, has been all about. The, the summit night is just, is just a special thing. and. Just even on the descent for the last two days, you kind of appreciate what we've achieved and I'm, uh, I'm very proud of, of what we've done and, and hopefully we've raised a lot of money as well for, for the Charitable Trust. So uh, I'd encourage anyone to, to maybe get out here and experience something like this. It's been incredible. Summer night was one of the, the hardest things I've ever done. Uh, it was, I, I can't even put in into words. Uh, the pain you feel getting up there, but it is very satisfying when it's over to know that you've done it. But yeah, it was so hard. It, it was something that I don't think you could really get your head around, but well worth an experience. Yes, yeah, no, pretty incredible and um, big thanks to Earth Edge and um, it's great to raise awareness and uh, raise some vital funds for the RFU Charitable Trust. Um, so yeah, no, it's been it's been amazing to be a part of and as I said, I think it, it won't probably sink in until until we get home and reflect on uh, on what we what we've done and what we've achieved.